Your Tigers have one change defensively here in the last nine yeah. inning. Shortstop number three, Jordan. And they'll have Evans catching, so Carney uh, and that was replaced in that game by Sweeney. We all know what happened then, the Grand Slam. Evans the catcher, we're in the ninth inning. Mason Vineyard's first pitch is over about the run of mine to shortstop Blanton, and that's a strike. Vineyard came in in the last of the eight, retired second pitch, and a comeback, and then struck out against Keith Ben Williams. So he's out there after a victory. We mentioned earlier when he's out there, things just sort of happen. He has all those decisions uh, as a relief pitcher. So the leads are being lost, and uh, while well, he's out there, or the Hilltoppers are coming behind him and, and getting leads while he's a pitcher of record. And that is what has happened today. He has seven decisions in the save in 30 previous games. Lanton hits this one deep for foul. He pulls it. Certainly a home run distance foul. He had plenty of uh, hope to get it over the fence, but he hooked it foul. Lanton has a zero for three game. Then will bring it in, and he swings it one in the turf. It hits the home plate umpire on the bounce. And bowl. Nope, he foul tipped it. It's not a swing in the It's a foul tip, and that got a part of the body of Terrence Evans, the home plate umpire. It stays at one ball with two strikes. So Evans is catching. Meyer, Lambert, Zuberer, and Pips are the infielders. Carlin, Crittenberger, and Gray are the outfielders. Now tips it, and this time Evans holds on. And Vineyard has struck out three consecutive Marshall hits. There's now one out of this ninth inning. And it'll be Devin uh, Ward. Back to the top of the order of the bat, number 11, Devin Ward. Ward has scored a pair of runs. He also has a pair of hits. Lefty takes a strike from Vineyard. Four-game series at home against FAU, and that will all start Friday at 5 o'clock. Saturday doubleheader starting at noon, Sunday game at noon as well on senior day. And he sends it in, chopper at the first baseline and foul. The Owls right now are playing a doubleheader against FIU today. They were tied at 9 late in the first game. And right now the Hilltoppers have a half-game lead over the Owls for third place in the East. Two strikes on Ward. He's around with the right arm, and he stays alive and fouls it back over by his on deck hitter Phillips. The home runs from Sweeney and Phipps are home runs eight and nine this weekend. They have not had a series of this much of a power display the entire year. Outside. Ball two strikes. Okay. Top of infielder deep. Outfield straight away against Ward, crouching from the left side. Swap and misses. And Bender struck out four in a row. So two away at any nine. Now to bring up Phillips. Phillips with the play. To him with a pitch, he's sacrificed and he's grounded out. Two now, back. Number six, Jordan Phillips. Vineyard has struck out four one time and two and two thirds ends against Charlotte. That's right in the Phillips. He struck out four in an inning and two thirds in this one. Brings it off. It's half foul. And you're just strike away from picking up another win for him. He's been five and three. He's the team leader in wins, and he's pitched 20 innings this year.
Sobel started. Had trouble early in the third, battled through that. Shiflett came in, gave up a two-run homer. Marsh with a 6-2 lead. Yeah. Swings and foul tips it. Held on by Evans. And Vineyard finishes the game with five consecutive swinging strikeouts.